Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Flaws back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro Full Body Hybrid Protective Case with built-in screen protector for your HTC M8. Alright, now first off let me pull up the website real quick so you can see where to get it from. Alright, now I got this from Amazon.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. Alright, now the price for this one, this will run you 20 bucks. Alright, so this is a Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro. Alright, now it comes in four colors. You got black, blue, pink, and white. You can pause this and read it for yourself, but precise cutouts for the all-new HTC One M8. Advanced dual-layered design case made from combination of polycarbonate and hard shell flexible TPU that withstands accidental drops, bumps, and shocks. Front cover with built-in screen protector that prevents uh, scratches without compromising sensitivity. Advanced front cover snap-on design for easy installation. All features accessible with the case installed. All right, 20 bucks for this. I'll throw the link up in the description. Now let's take a look and see what the actual case looks like. Now shout out to everybody who watched my videos. You've seen me do the sub case, the Beetle joint for the iPad Air. That case is a definite go. I put that on my daughter's iPad and she likes to do cartwheels and flips and all kind of crazy stuff. Took the case off, no scratches at all. And that iPad been dropped about 20, 25 times already. All right, so no scratches or nothing. I'm definitely feeling sub case. Let's see how the uh, Unicorn Beetle looks now. This is how it comes. Simple presentation, nothing fancy. Here's the actual case. Now, this case looks exactly like the one I, that I did for the iPad. And this case is solid right here. This is a go. Let's peel this plastic off. Now, two-part case. Let's open it up. Because it looks like you get something else inside. All right, you get two extra power keys. All right, so two extra ones right here. So if you're constantly taking the case on and off and you happen to lose your power button, you got two spare ones right here. Now, the outside layer of the case has a built-in screen protector. Now, y'all know I use the uh, tempered glass on my M8, but if you don't have nothing, put something like this on it. All right, built-in screen protector. In the back, polycarbonate material, but this is extra strong, extra durable. It doesn't bend, but you can, you can just feel it and tell that it's shockproof. If you look at the actual case on the back, you got Unicorn Beetle, so a little company branding. If you see it has these raised edges, so this way when you put the phone down flat, even the back of the case is not going to rest 100% flat. All right, so it has a nice tough build to it, you know, tough looking design. Kind of looks, you know, military, durable kind of build. I'm definitely feeling that. You got your cutout for your camera, cutout for your flash. You know, cutout for both cameras, you know, got the dual camera. Now, this has a power button already installed on it, but you get two extra ones. On the bottom, you got a little protective flap for your USB connection and for your headphone jack. So that'll cover that right up. So this looks tough right here. Now, I got them in two colors. Let's check out the uh, white version. Now, the white version I got, I already dropped it on the phone so y'all can see what it looks like. Just for dramatic effect, put it back in the box. Same thing, though. You get your uh, two extra power buttons. This is what it's going to look like on the phone. Now, keep in mind, I already have a tempered glass screen protector on here. But this is what it'll look like. Trust me, it feels extra sturdy. This might be one of the uh, best cases I've seen for the HTC M8 yet. Uh, it feels extra sturdy, extra solid. I know I like to slam my phones down on the table. You don't have to worry about breaking the phone. All right, so let's take this one off real quick. And I'll drop the black one on just so you can see what it looks like. Now, taking this off, let's see if it's as easy as it is putting it on. Matter of fact, before I take it off, as you can see right here, this is what it's going to look like when it's covering up your ports. So there goes your USB, and there goes your headphone jack. But a nice, solid connection. When you close it up, it's going to stay closed. So you don't got to worry about that popping open in your pocket. All right, so I didn't take the plastic off on the inside of this one, but this is what it looks like. Definitely looks sick. For 20 bucks. definitely feeling that. All right, so let me take this one off and switch to the black one. Okay, so to take this one off, all you got to do is peel it apart, and it's two layers. All right, so let's drop the black one on now. Put the front on first. Just slap that right in there. Make sure everything is lined up. 
and then just drop it right in. Alright, so I got the front, stick it in the case, and then just seal it around the edges. Alright, so we're just going to seal up all the edges, get everything nice and tight. And there it goes. Alright, so this is what it's gonna look like the black one. Now I like the black one a little bit better. The white one is kind of funky too, but um <laughs> I like the black one a little bit better. This is gonna be my new HTC M8 gym case. Alright, the power button works great. No problem at all. Let's check our volume up and down. No problem with the volume up and down. You see you got your raised buttons. Two extra power buttons for the top. For 20 bucks right here. This is a win. This actually feels more solid than a lot of the other cases I reviews, especially stuff like um, the Spigen cases. This one looks better. The Spigen one has a better look to it, but this one just has a more protective feel to it. Especially now you have your you know free screen protector that covers the front. So if you didn't happen to have a tempered glass, or if you don't even have one of those cheap ones, then now you got something covering up the front. Now I have a tempered glass on here, and it, it seems like um still have good responsiveness. So this is good right here. Now normally, since I'm rocking the tempered glass, when I get cases like this, I'll go inside and peel out the, you know, the free screen protector. But since this one um isn't that thick and it doesn't feel too flimsy, I think I'm gonna leave this one. But this is a good look right here. All right, so this is the unicorn beetle right here. Now, instead of doing a separate video, let me show you how these two other cases I got real quick because these ones are kind of cheesy. So no reason to make a separate uh, a whole video for it. The day I ordered these, I ordered these two other cases. I ordered the HCC One M8, the premium hybrid protective bumper case, and I also ordered the flexible TPU case. Both of these cases was ten dollars on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. But let's take a look at these ones too. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so this is the Unicorn Beetle on a scale of one to ten. The Beetle's a go. Like I said, I got this on my daughter's iPad. She dropped it over twenty times already. Been throwing it around all over the place. She don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And no scratches. The iPad still works perfectly fine. I got this one on my M8. I can see myself definitely rocking this case up in the gym. This is a nice protective case right here for 20 bucks. Now let's take a look at these other ones now. So we got the TPU and we got the uh, the clear one. What's the name of that clear one? This the uh, hybrid bumper and, <laughs> and the flexible TPU. So let's take a look at the flexible TPU first. Let's just beast this open real quick. All right, so this is the um, TPU one, ten bucks for this one, and it's basically just a subcase TPU. Now this one looks nice. Actually, the back of this kind of reminds me. Where's my um? Let me see. Let me pull out one of these speaking ones. Kind of reminds me of the back out. It has that matte and gloss finish to it. Ten bucks for this one. All right, so let's pop it on the phone and see what it looks like. Now, one thing I will say about this uh, Unicorn Beetle, not the easiest to take off. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a little knife and just use that to separate it. Let me do that from behind the camera so I don't separate my finger while I'm doing it. If you got a little knife, then it's easy to take off. But taking it off raw dog with your fingertips is going to be a little bit of a hassle. All right, so all you got to do is unpeel it. All right, so the unicorn beetle is a go. Let me see how this looks now. Yeah, if you want, you could easily take this inside screen protector out, which I'm definitely probably going to do. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. It looks like an easy. Matter of fact, let's see how let, let's see how easy it is to come out. Try this on camera. All right, good. So now I got a tempered glass screen protector. I don't need all that protection for the screen, so I'll just rock it like this. All right, so that's how I'm rocking mine. Now let's take a look at the TPU one. Simple. Slap it right on. So this is just a nice soft TPU case. Not the best for protection, but if you want to keep the back of your phone from getting scratched up and beat down, then this is something to get for $10. All right, so this is cool right here. On a scale of one to 10, this is cool for $10. Got your cutout for your IR blaster, your power button, cutout for your cameras, your flash. The bottom is wide open. Now, what is this on the bottom? Why is it designed like that? Who knows? But <laughs> that's what it is, all right? So this is a TPU joint, 10 bucks for that one. Now let's take a look at the hybrid one. This is another one. I think this one is not even 10. This one might be like 8. 
or whatever. I had this sitting up in the closet. Let's pull it out and see what it looks like. All right, so simple right here. This is the uh, hybrid joint. So let's pop this one on and see what it looks like. Real simple, clear back. Got a little company branding on it. Cut out on the bottoms. You got your power, uh, your volume up and down. Cut out for your power button. Slap it on and see what it looks like. All right, easy installation. Now this one has the clear back. So if you got your gold HTC M8, if you've seen the new Verizon, they got the red one coming out. That's going to look sick. But whatever color you got, if you want to showcase that color of the phone, if you got a gold one or you got this gunmetal gray, and you want people to see the color of it, then you get something like this, see-through. Again, not the best in the world for protection, but if you got a tempered glass screen protector on the front, you ain't got to worry about the front, and it's going to keep your back from getting scratched up. So $10 for the, uh, ten dollars for the hybrid. $10 for the uh, TPU and 20 bucks right here for the Unicorn Beetles. Right, I'll throw the link up in the description. Check them out for yourself. Now, I ordered some other HTC M8 cases that's going to be coming in a minute. Some more high-end ones. These ones right here, these are just for pretty much everyday use. Alright, so on a scale of 1 to 10, the hybrid, the hybrid is cool, you know. This one is cool. I don't really see myself rocking this one too much, but I am planning on getting that red HTC M8. That's, then you might see this one a little bit more. The uh, the hybrid one is cool. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's cool. On a scale of 1 to 10, the TPU, yeah, this one is cool too. Just soft, flexible TPU. You know, This is the one that you get from the dude selling them at the table and all that. This is nothing fancy. But order from Amazon, get it delivered right to your doorstep. Now, the Unicorn Beetles though. On a scale of 1 to 10, these are go. Once you put them on the phone, you get to really feel how solid they feel. And like I said, if you ever had any of the subcases before, you already know. Trust me. Let me let me put this one back on without the um, without the tempered glass. I mean, without the uh, free screen protector that came with it, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so let's drop the unicorn beetle back on this one. Okay, now now that this is my third time putting this on, it should go on a little bit faster. Which it did. But now no uh, no flimsy screen protector on the front getting in the way. Like I said, if you got a tempered glass screen protector, then you don't need that. You don't need two screen protectors on one phone. All it's going to do is make it harder for you to press the buttons. Alright, so this is what it looks like now. And now I got full touch sensitivity because I took that piece off. But now the back of the phone and everything else is fully protected. Alright, so I'm definitely rocking it like this. Maybe I'll leave it on the white one. And um, I'll just rock it like this on the black one. But on a scale of 1 to 10, the Unicorn Beetles are go. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rock with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. Oh yeah, by the way, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, go eat a fucking dick. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.